Hi, everybody, and welcome back to another edition of the MCHD Paramedic Podcast 360. I'm Dr. Rob Dixon, and today I have the pleasure of having one of our district chiefs sitting in with me, Spencer Hall. Thanks, Spencer. Anytime, Doc. So we're going to talk today about cricothyrotomy. This is a surgical airway procedure that we use in EMS. About 1% of all airways, about 1% of patients that you go to intubate, you will not be able to intubate, nor will you be able to ventilate and oxygenate. Right? So this is the indication for a surgical airway. In this procedure, this is a very low frequency, high risk procedure. So we don't intubate that many patients to begin with. We certainly don't do many of these surgical airways. So at MCHD, we came up with an algorithm and a, and a mnemonic to go along with it. Very simple five step crack. So commit and control, run down to the base of the thyroid cartilage, make a vertical incision to expose the cricothyroid membrane, bluntly dissect with our index finger of our non-dominant hand to identify the cricothyroid membrane. Remember, this is going to be a bloody mess, guys. This is a tactile procedure. And when you train for it, you should train for it like you can't see it, it's tactile, you just feel it. Okay. So as you can see by the way that the procedure is set up, Chief Hall only needs four items to complete this procedure. So uh, I'm a fan of throwing out tray cooks and all these other 4,000 things in a kit you don't need. You need a scalpel, you need a syringe, you need a 6.0 cuffed tracheal tube, and you need a bougie. The first part of the procedure, you notice Chief Hall, he commits to the procedure. What's the indication? It's failure to ventilate and failure to oxygenate patients in a, a failed airway. He commits to the procedure. He controls the thyroid cartilage with his non-dominant hand, runs down to the base of the thyroid cartilage with the index finger of his non-dominant hand, makes a vertical incision down to the base from the mid thyroid cartilage to the base of the thyroid cartilage, identifies the cricothyroid membrane with his index finger of his non-dominant hand, incises the cricothyroid membrane with a horizontal stab incision, and immediately withdraws the knife and inserts the finger of his non-dominant hand, that same index finger, to bluntly dissect the hole followed by the coup de tip of the bougie distally, and then the cuffed tracheal tube. As always, we confirm with entitled capnography CO2 for proper placement. Chief, thanks for sitting in today. I really appreciate it. And as always, if you have questions or comments, um, please send them to our podcast email, podcast at mchd-tx.org. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you again soon. Thank you.